Because of NBA extension rules, Josh Hart has to wait until Thursday to officially sign his extension with the Knicks, but he's expected to do just that with both sides finalizing the details of his extension, which is going to be four years, sources confirm, and will be close to, if not at the maximum allowed of $81 million. And that was first reported by ESPN. And now, obviously, the Knicks lock up heart for the next five years. And this commitment tells you all you need to know about how they feel about Hart as a player. They traded for him at the trade deadline last season. He immediately impacted winning. Knicks' record in the regular season was tremendous. He helped them win that first-round series against the Cavs, and that was enough for the Knicks to see that Hart was going to be an important part of their build here. They're building out this roster, obviously looking to compete uh, eventually for an NBA title, but in the here and now, compete in the Eastern Conference to get to the Eastern Conference Finals. So they see Hart as a major piece to get to that spot. And they've got Hart, they've got Dante DiVincenzo, they've got Julius Randle, they've got Jalen Brunson, all under contract for multiple seasons here. So they've got some players under control, uh, not just this season, but moving forward. And then the next domino to fall for the Knicks this offseason is Emmanuel Quickly's extension. Quickly is extension eligible for a rookie extension, and the deadline to get that done is right before the start of the regular season. And traditionally, those extensions get done right at the deadline. So, you know, keep an eye on how things progress there between the Knicks and Quickly. I would expect them to get a deal done. And I don't think this hard extension in, in any real way impacts how the Knicks and quickly negotiate. I think it's two separate entities, although down the line here with the Knicks, as they add these contracts, they will get close to those tiers, the tier one, tier two, where they're, you're gonna be penalized for spending a certain amount of money. So the Knicks are gonna have to deal with that from a tax perspective, but Nick owner Jim, James Dolan has never shied away from spending the money. I wouldn't think that he shies away from spending the money now if the Knicks believe this is a team that can contend in the East and ultimately contend for a title.